Hello everyone and welcome back to another movie review. Today I'm going to be reviewing Bohemian Rhapsody, the movie about the band Queen, and honestly, mostly about Freddie Mercury, who is the lead singer of the band. Um, it follows his story coming from kind of a nothing baggage boy to the great pop star we all know, at least I knew the name of. Um, personally, I'm not a uh, fan of the band. I only recognize a few of the bigger songs, um, which plays a lot into my thoughts about the movie overall. But um, anyway, because most people know what Queen is and the story of Freddie Mercury, um, I'm just gonna do a quick, that was my quick section about the, the summary, and I'm just gonna get into my thoughts. So um, I'm gonna start off with my positives and then go to the negatives, um, which I don't usually do, but that's how I have it organized on my notes page. So uh, first off, I want to talk about the performances. Obviously, Remy Malek as Freddie Mercury, he's going to win awards. There's no doubt in my mind. He might even win the best like actor for the year in the Oscars, um, just because his portrayal and his uh, overall his body movement and getting so into the character and having to work through the... I think he had... Um, you know, prosthetic teeth or something to give him the overbite that Freddie Mercury had. Uh, all of that, obviously, he he did a great job, and it was it was really impressive what he did with the character. Um, another great thing was the camera work in this movie in general. A couple shots that involve reflections off of mirrors or off of glasses or things like that that just kind of blew me away about how creative they were and how just how interesting it made it look. And uh, obviously they used a lot of panning shots. They were zooming over crowds or through the band as they were playing. And it really made it feel dynamic. And that made the, the sections where they were playing songs or working on songs to be a lot more interesting. And on top of that, the so times when they were developing songs, which you saw a little bit in the trailers, um, the times when they were developing the songs, especially Bohemian Rhapsody, uh, it was, it was a really fun thing to watch because they were always super creative and they were bouncing ideas off each other. Um, the four bandmates are all squabbling about what's going to happen and messing with the sound quality and the instruments and all that, and I just thought that was really engaging. Um, Freddie also, I think he had a really good arc, um, but it, it was kind of slow. He was kind of the same character pretty much until the ending 30 minutes or something like that but it was satisfying to watch him come to terms with what he had become because he kind of just was an asshole the whole time and then he realized his problem he had problems and fixed up with his band and they had a great ending performance and this is spoilers but it's also a biopic so if you knew the story of queen it's not that big of a deal um but he had a good arc although i thought it was a little bit slow um also the Final thing, final positive I want to talk about is just the scope overall. They used a lot of uh, crowds. I'm not sure how they did that. It was There's no way it's real, but um, it was really impressive, and it made it feel so much more powerful because there were hundreds of thousands of people, or, you know, everywhere, thousands of people, I guess, not hundreds of thousands, whatever. Tons of people watching them and getting really into it and the synchronizing of the clapping and the arms waving and all that just made it feel a lot more powerful. So that was all my positive thoughts, and I want to move on to my negatives, which unfortunately are a little bit, uh, they outweigh the positives, although I do want to say that I overall thought the movie was good. Um, first off, my biggest regret about this movie was that the other bandmates didn't, basically didn't get any development. They were kind of just there for Freddy to bounce ideas off of, and there's a cat coming up in my lap, but... Uh, for Freddie to bounce ideas off of and inevitably disappoint and have that have arguments and things like that but they didn't really have their own uh, sections of development so it really made it hard as someone who doesn't know the personalities of these people from real life to connect to them as characters and really have the band together as a unit excuse me it was hard for me to yep there's a cat um, for me to connect to the band because as a group, they didn't have as much development because it was all focused on just how, what was going on with Freddy, and it felt unbalanced to me. Um, also, another big thing is the I felt the movie had pretty bad pacing. As I said, I liked the final, uh, at the end of the movie, but um, up until that point, it, the pacing was just really poor, in my opinion. The beginning was bam, 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 bam. They went from 
just meeting to being on stage in the span of 15 minutes. And it really felt unbalanced. It was really awkward to me. But uh, it, it fixed after the first half, I would say. But it was it left a bad taste in my mouth, especially because the introduction to the characters was pretty shallow. Um, also, as I've said, I'm not a fan, so it was really hard for me to connect to the characters. Um, this movie was clearly made for people who are fans of Queen, who know the people, the bandmates. Oh my goodness, he is up in my grill. Uh, people who know the bandmates, people who know their story, who enjoy their music, who were the fans cheering in the crowds when they were playing. But because I'm none of those and not really a music fan in general, it was, as a movie, it was kind of hard for me to connect because they clearly had wanted you to be a fan. Um, another thing I thought was pretty lame were the tour sections, that when they were going on tours through wherever they were in, in England or America or around the world, they kind of just had snippets of them performing and then names pop up or... It was really awkward, and it was poorly designed, in my opinion, and it kind of felt rushed and awkward. Um, but yeah, not a huge problem, it just felt kind of lame. Um, and then also, I think I was just overhyped. Uh, everywhere on the internet for the last few weeks, I've just been seeing people praising Queen and so excited about Freddie Mercury and all that stuff, and I just was like, wow, it really impacted all these people so much. I, I really hope it's as good as they say. And just because of all the praise, I think I went into expecting a little bit more of a well-developed story than I got. But overall, the movie was enjoyable, especially if you are a music fan or if you're a little bit older than me and you're into the band or you remember the history, you remember when Freddie died, if you remember any of the songs coming out, you'll probably enjoy it a lot more than I did. But um, those are just my thoughts. I give Bohemian Rhapsody 3.5 stars. It's a good movie, but it has some pretty major flaws that hold it back from being incredibly enjoyable in my opinion so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed my review and i will see you guys in another